I want that because I'm gonna eat that. I was just crying. <laughs> Decline on the request, chicken, you're not doing well Figured you'd be back at it, but I'm not backtracking You see I'm doing great, but you were a bad habit And now I'm out here on the scene, moving green Seeing all the love that you wish that you dreamed of No, I couldn't take you up with me 
Wrote all my coattails too long, you get to see now Love is not transactional, you hit me just to ask for help You weren't there when I needed you, and now you see I'm doing well But now it's too late to come back, and now I'm not faced By every single sob story that you had made Ask me how I got it, I do all the shopping I'm all independent, I put down deposits I'm about my business, not about your wallet Why you frontin' for the world, acting like you got it, got it Didn't wanna see it, didn't wanna see me win Couldn't you believe it, made it up without you now Scheming, I repeat it, charging fees left and right Do you wanna teach it? Put it quite frank, I'm gonna show you the way why you flexing? What you flexing for? I'ma tell you how it is, I got a lot to say Ask me how I got it, I do all the shopping I'm all independent, I put down deposits I'm about my business, not about your wallet Why you fronting for the world? I didn't like you, got it, got it Pussy on money phone, flushing it on the gram I got expensive taste, you wanna get some fans? Tell me about it, what are they praising? What are you praying for? What are you chasing? Nah, not really original. Say you do it for your people, but they not watching. Overestimated your influence. Now you've just been talking. Yeah, I just burned the crap out of myself and scratch the crap out of myself. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna get so much worse. It's only been five minutes and it looks like that. Compete with anybody but me. Trying to be my best self. That's all I gotta be. Ask me how I got it, I do all the shopping I'm all independent, I put down deposits I'm about my business, not about your wallet Why you fronting for the world? I didn't like you, got it, got it Pressing your money phone, flushing it on the gram I got expensive taste, you wanna get some fans? Tell me about it, what are they praising? What are you praying for? What are you chasing? Nah, not really original Past hit me up again, hit decline on the record Checking, you're not doing well. Figured you'd be back at it, but I'm not back tracking. You see, I'm doing great, but you were a bad habit. And now I'm out here on the scene, moving green. Seeing all the love that you wish that you dreamed of. No, I couldn't take you up with me. Wrote all my coattails too long, you get to see now. Love is not transactional. You hit me just to ask. I had barbecue sauce on my ribs. Yeah, me too. That's what we asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Woo! Uh oh. Ah, oh, it's juicy. Now, that was expected. I'm scared. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a pizza. Oh my god. That's what it is to see. It's a pizza pocket. Mm. Okay, how many? That's spicy. Woo. What did you order anyway? Honey chipotle crispers and then some ribs. I thought it was barbecue ribs, but I told him I said, what the barbecue on the picture? Yeah, they are. It's, it's a little spicy. Well, they cut the breast, they cut it the right way, because if you don't, you'll be biting stuff. Yeah. What about that? It's spicy, sweet, and juicy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see, good job, good job. It's good though. Mm -hmm. It's dry. It's dry, yeah. Say it's dry rub. Aren't dry rubs like heavily seasoned? They, they got season on them. It's a good seasoning. How is everything? Ooh, it's spicy. It's oh, so wonderful. Still doing okay. Mm -hmm. Corn is so big. Mm -hmm. You say still living. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's afraid that 
if you don't got it, you don't recognize him. No more. Yeah. I don't recognize him right now. I can't talk to you. Yes, please. May I ask a question? Of course. Crazy. It's so massive though, it's really cute. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very so we are about to do a taste test. We actually went to somewhere that has nice dessert. Unlike last time we went to Hy-Vee. This time we went to Lund's, which are known for their desserts. Isn't this cute? I don't even know what this is exactly. But that is so freaking cute. I'm gonna get a picture from this angle, hold on a minute. A little too much cream, but it's still delicious. It's good though. It's good. Is that the Bavarian cream? It's great. It's good. Mm -hmm. Oh shizzle. Mm -hmm. Oh shizzle. And just go down here. That's money. You better, you better say it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This is fun. This, this is great. Now, I don't favor this one. <laughs> <laughs> he don't. I don't like that genre. He, Missy, he don't. He just, he just say he don't. But I, side love, I that? love lemon. Got my mouth water. I love that cream. Mm. It's so soft, fluffy. Devin, even the cake. Oh my yes. goodness. That's delicious. Missy, what was with high I don't have it with one one, but this is so much better. So for the man, three for three. Mm. <laughs> this is good. He used to say something to her. I, I can't remember what it was. Oh Missy, he, Missy, he all over Devin. Right, Devin, please. Devin, Devin, Devin. Man, Poor Cash. Listen, pay attention to me, Devin. He wants something so bad. I'm talking to you. I love chocolate, but this lemon. This lemon is banging. Oh, no. Good, man. Well, that's who he is. Well, Devin, what, what's your review on the lemon? Mmm. Not that apart, man. It it's delicious. Great. Oh my god. That was so fluffy. I love lemon, man. Mm. Oh my. My god. sweet, my, my whole body gonna be like this all night. Boing! Mm -hmm. Boing! <laughs> See, that's probably good to share. Mm, yeah. As soon as I tasted that lemon popped out. Boom! Yep, yeah, that lemon Ooh. is banging. Man, okay. It's, it's too and good a, not to have nothing to go with it. The texture is Yeah, it is. Tough, we, should, we should have some coffee or some milk or something. Coffee or milk or something. Hey guys, I wanted to check in with you. I feel like, I don't think I have to talk to you guys this vlog. And excuse me, because I'm very exhausted right now. So like, my energy is sort of low. Um, what's happened so far? So I started filming on Thursday, got a lot of B-roll footage. And um, I was gonna end that and then start filming again on Friday. And Friday when I got to the gym, I was gonna film like my workout routine for Friday. That's Friday was, um, it was arm and back day and it was so packed it was so absolutely like ridiculously packed and I don't know why a lot of guys in there too it's really really weird it is not cut there you go um but yeah I didn't film Friday and then afterwards I went, to, I went to the gym and then afterwards I went and got some Indian food I was really craving some Indian food but I still got leftovers from that Indian food I shared some of that food with my uh, mom and I still have leftovers because me, neither one of us can really eat a lot of food, which is really good though, really, really good. Anyways, and then um, today, so today is Saturday. So I went out with my family. Um, we wanted to take my brother out because like he's like me, he's really introverted. He doesn't really go out a lot, so we want to take him out to eat. Like well, actually, to me, he's worse than me. He's more, he's way more introverted. water anyways we wanted to eat as a family which was really we had a really 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 good time which is a whole lot of laughs a whole lot of good times but he wanted to go out to eat and then he wanted to go get some desserts and try to make up for last time because you guys remember and not my last vlog i don't think i think it was the one before that but we had went out to eat and then afterwards we had went to hyvee to go get some desserts and those desserts were absolutely horrific and so this time we went to Lund's because Lund's, they don't disappoint. They're a little pricey, but it's worth it. You're going to get something that you love. So we went to Lund's and got like a bunch of different desserts and just sat here and sh um, cut everything up and shared it and gave our little reviews about how they taste. It was really, it was really, really nice. Um, but right now, 
I don't know if you guys can see. I'm here cutting up some potatoes. Okay, so what's going on? My mom knows a guy from our church. He's a cook. And if you guys know my mom, she loves cooking. And so uh, he's having an event where he wanted to have, because they just got done fasting. I didn't do the fast with the church this year because, like, I knew I wasn't mentally or spiritually ready to be trying to go on the fast. There is no way in the world. So um, I didn't fast with them, but they got done with their fast. And it was like, after the fast is over, this was his idea. He wanted to have four different women cook, I think it's four different meals um, for 75 people. And, of course, my mom was like, yeah. I was like, oh, God. I already knew that was going to include me having to help. And you guys know I hate cooking. Like, I'll do it. But I do not like cooking. Like, I hate it with such a passion. When I say hate, hate is a strong word. But I do not like cooking. I just do it when I have to. But I already knew when she volunteered. I was like, well, apparently we're both going to be volunteering. So, right now I'm just cutting up some potatoes for her because 75 people. I'm like, Mom, cooking one meal for 75 people is crazy. But cooking four different meals for 75 people, I'm like, do you know what you're signing up for? It's going to be a lot of work. It's a lot of food. And do you even know how to determine how much food you're going to need? Because when have we ever made food for 75 people? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So, I, and then, like, I keep cutting these potatoes up different. I, I know she's going to be like, Melissa, these potatoes are the wrong size. I'm like, and, like, my mind never never remembers. Like, I'll cut one potato one way and then cut the next potato a different way. I don't know. But I'm like, 75 people, Mom? Like, I know you love to cook, and I know you have a heart full of love and all this other stuff, but this is a big project. And my mom was like, how old am I? She's like, 60? Girl, my brain be farting. I don't even know how old I am half the time. But I'm like, Mom, come on now. That's a lot of work for you to take on. So, of course, I gotta help her because nobody else is here to do it. So, I gotta help her. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually really tired. I was planning on just relaxing this weekend because I had such a crazy, like, work week. Like, I don't know. I, I, I did some content for this brand and I had to read, edit the work, like, three different times. And it was just so exhausting. And I, I've never had that problem before where I had to re-edit my work over and over and over again. Hi, Cash. I can't pick you up right now. I'm cutting. But I never had to do that before. And so, like, I planned on getting that work done, moving on to the next project because I have other stuff I have to do. And it took up so much of my time. And, like, it was just crazy. It was crazy. So now some of my other stuff is pushed back. I, I was planning on filming today. I was planning on filming and editing today. But... Um, my family went to hang out, and I don't take that, that time lightly, so I'm like, let's go chill, let's go hang out. And then now I'm back home, and now I'm doing this. So, um, and then tomorrow is the, uh, yeah, that's the other thing. So tomorrow is the actual event. And so you guys know I am, I'm trying to get out more. I'm trying to stop being so shy, introverted, and afraid. So I'm going to go to this event with 75 other people. <laughs> I'm trying. God knows I'm trying. Like, can't nobody say I'm not trying. This, for a person like me who's really introverted, is like jumping off, jumping out of the airplane. You know, it's just, it's a lot. Mentally, it is a lot. So, I'm trying so hard to just push myself. Push myself. I'm really trying to, like, exceed my own expectations this year. So, a part of me is screaming. At the top of her lungs on the inside, and the other part of me is like, Melissa, do it. Just do it. Just do it. That's cash. You sound so scary. Little boy, you sound so scary. Who are you barking at? I'm just talking to myself. Well, no, I'm talking to my people, but he's so cute. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's on my leg. Can you guys see him? I don't know. He's so tiny. But, um, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I'm just helping her out with getting this stuff chopped up. Um, we did onions and bell peppers. I do not do good with onions. Oh, my God, I was just crying. Like, my eyes screamed whenever I cut up onions. My eyes were just crying, crying. Anyways, but, yeah, so tomorrow's the event, and I still don't even know what I'm wearing. <laughs>
the good part is, is I ain't got to cook dinner tonight because I still have a ton of leftovers from Chili's. I was talking to my mom. I'm like, because me and her both do this. I'm like, why do we both order so much food and we know we can't eat? We know we can't. Where's my food at? Where did I put it at? Oh, God. Hold on a minute. Let me show you guys. Look, look at all this food that I still have left over. I have two of my crispers, three bones. I only took a bite out of my bread. My whole thing of corn, I just ate the bottom piece here. Like, it's crazy. So, like, I have enough food for, like, three freaking meals here. I was talking to my mom. I'm like, why do we always order so much food? Like, we can literally order a meal, share that meal, and probably still have leftovers. Like, I don't know. And I know it's a mindset thing. Because, like, even, like, if I go to Starbucks or something like that, I'll order a venti coffee. No, I can't drink a venti coffee. Um, I always want to order big portions of food. I know I can't eat big portions of food. I know it's the old me who used to be able to eat all that food. Um, I know it's still her like saying, hey, I want that because I'm going to eat that. that. That's how she sounds in my head. I want that because I'm going to eat that. And I'm like, girl, your new stomach, no, you cannot. <laughs> no, you cannot. She, your, 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 your current stomach cannot take that. And that, that's one thing about having a weight loss surgery. Like, at the time, it didn't really help me lose weight, but it is helping restrict me from gaining weight. Like, not, at least not big portions of weight. I can still put some weight on because you guys know that I told you all the time, my problem is junk food. I can eat a whole lot of junk food. And I've been really working on um, doing, what do you call it? Portion control with junk food because I can eat some junk food. I don't know. I've always, I've, that's always, always, always been my problem. I remember I would go to the store and buy boxes of Little Debbie's and eat the whole box of Little Debbie's. I would buy big, giant bags of chips and eat the whole bag of chips. Like, I've always been that person that has had a problem with junk food. So, like, trying to learn how to eat sweets and chips and stuff and not overdo it is something that I've really been working really hard on. Um, and, like, having this surgery has really helped me see just how bad my problem has been. And that's why I wasn't losing any weight when I first had the surgery, because I was just, I can't eat food. I'm still eating my junk. But yeah, anyways. But I was just talking to her, I'm like, Mom, why do we always order so much food when we can just share it? So I know, I see now that that's still something that I need to work on. Because like, sometimes like, if I go like to like a fast food restaurant, I know there I can order a kid's meal. But when I go to a restaurant, where you sit down at, I don't know if you can order a kid's meal. And I think I would feel really awkward and embarrassed trying to order a kid's meal and I'm running out of room in this bowl for these potatoes but yeah that's what's going on right now I don't know if I'm gonna talk to you guys anymore tonight maybe tomorrow because I have so much stuff I still have to do I just want to go to sleep I need to go get another bowl so yeah either I'll see you guys tomorrow I might show you when I'm picking out my outfit I don't know what I'm wearing should I be casual should I be dressy I don't know the standard I don't know we're gonna see all right Check in with you guys later. Bye. This dude is on my back. I mean, like, this is just what he does. He's gonna lay down and go to sleep. <laughs>
somewhat absolute state of panic. Forgive the side tilted camera and all the other stuff. Okay, so me and my mom just got done making everything. I was sitting there because like it's supposed to be four dishes for 75 people, which is a lot. Oh god, so much better. But it's supposed to be four dishes, and I'm like, it's cabbage, coleslaw, black eyed peas, spaghetti, cornbread, potato salad. I said, this is six dishes. Six for 75 people. So yeah, we're running behind schedule. We're running behind schedule. I got a herb to my clothes on. My hair is not done. I haven't even tried my outfit on to see if I want to wear this. I don't have time. So yeah, I'm just getting dressed in a panic right now. Hope to God my wig is melted right. I hate using these because it like leaves like a white band right here. Oh my God, my microphone. I'm sorry guys, my microphone was turned the wrong direction per usual. Per, per usual. It looked like pajamas, and I'm going to be wearing some fur slides, even though it's the middle of winter. I'm going to put on some socks with it, um, some black socks so it's not noticeable, but uh, I'm trying to be comfortable. I'm tired. It's been a long night. It's been a long night. I'm tired, and I've been running on fumes. Oh, baby, I just want to be comfortable. I need perfume. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. I'm wearing the Ambery Cherry? No, Ambery Vanilla from Dossier. Oh, it smells so good. Um, what am I getting my hands on? I forgot what I was doing. Just motion on my hands because my hands are dry. Okay, what was I doing? It's a mess in here. It's a freaking mess in here. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, my socks and shoes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the middle of the winter time and the ground is dry, so like why not just wear some slides or some crocs, something. I'm gonna be indoors, it doesn't matter. Why did this dry out on me? I'm gonna tell you you didn't let it dry out on you, baby girl. You coming in? Hi. Hi. You're so cute. You just gonna bust the door wide open, huh? I know I gotta leave. I don't wanna leave you. I hate leaving you. I hate leaving that babies. Yeah, I hate leaving that babies. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you guys can even see my outfit or not. I hope I'm in frame. Hopefully you can see me. There's a mess in here. Don't judge me. What side? What's it going for? <laughs> washed out <laughs> anyways hello guys it is um it's monday it's a monday morning i'm getting ready to go to the gym and i realized that last night when i got back home that i didn't my hands are so ashy but um i didn't come back on and tell you guys how the event went i'm wearing some new lashes today i'm so nervous because they're a lot fuller than what i I wear now. Oh, you can't even tell on camera. They're really thick. Really, really thick. You, you'll see when I put them on. But anyways, yesterday I was so busy helping my mom get prepared that I couldn't even focus on the fact that 
I was about to be in a room with 75 people. And for me, that's very difficult. Like, I couldn't even think about it because we had so much things to get done. We were actually planning on being there like two hours early to help with setting up. And we ended up leaving an hour late. A whole hour late. And you guys know I hate being late. I do not like being late. But we were just so busy with getting that food prepared. But it wasn't until I got there... You know, we got things brought in and set up. <coughs> Cash is always growling at something. Lord Jesus. Let me go see what he's growling at. Hold on a minute. All right, he got scared because I'm talking, so he thinks somebody's here. <laughs> he was asleep. I, I guess that would be scary for him to wake up and I'm talking. Like, who are you talking to? Anyways, is that going right? Oh, I forgot to... I was going to curl him before I put him on. Right in front of me. Still forgot. Anyways, but, so yeah, went to the event last night. Um, a lot of people came. I don't, I don't think it was 70, well, it might have been 75 people. It was a lot of people. It was a lot of people. But I had a really good time. I had a really freaking good time. Like, I was praying. I said, God, let, let the people sit. Because, you know, when you go there, you guys sit at the table and eat. Let people sit here that I'm going to mesh with, that I'm going to have a good time with, that um, I'm not going to feel uncomfortable around. You know, I wanted to just be able to relax and enjoy myself because, like, that's one of the things about going out and socializing that I don't like doing because I don't want to be around people that make me feel uncomfortable because I can go home. I ain't got to be here. I can go home. You know what I'm saying? And so my first instinct will always be to leave. And I really try to be more comfortable being around other people. But people were just so nice. They were coming in, giving me hugs like they knew me. <laughs> um, just seeing how happy they were to see me and everything. It's so funny because people keep coming up to me like they actually know me and being like, hey, Melissa, happy to see you. And I'm like, who? Who are you? And I just feel so bad. Like some of them I know. And, so, and I'm trying so hard to remember everybody's name. But some people I know and some people I don't. So it's like sort of that awkward feeling of, you know my name and I don't know your name. But anyways, um, I prayed about who sat at my table. And the people that sit at my table, I really just vibed with. We talked all night long. Guys, I swear, we were the last ones there. We were the last ones there. Everybody had left. And we were still just sitting around chit-chatting and talking. And, like, one thing with me, like, talking is exhausting. Like, after a while, like, my body just starts shutting down. Like, I'm tired. Like, I, I literally get physically exhausted from having conversations with people. I don't know what that is. But the person that sat there with me, well, one of them, she said she's the same way. Like, she's sort of, like, not, I don't want to say introverted, but she said, like, she's sort of, like, standoffish with people. And she discerns your character immediately. And she will establish if she wants to conversate with you or if she wants to keep you at a distance. She's just like me in that respect. And we were just talking, 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 talking all night long. The people at my table, we were just there for the whole time just talking. And we were like the last ones to leave. I had such a great time. I was so nervous about that, but absolutely great time. One of the girls I was talking with, she goes to my, well, two of them, they go to my church. So, like, I'm going to see how things go on Sunday. And then, like, if the vibe is still the same, I'm going to, like, exchange contact information. Because I'm really trying to develop friendships. Because, like, I don't have any friends. Like, I told, you guys that, I told you guys that before. Like, my circle got really shrunk down when my depression hit. And I just isolated myself. And, like, I've been comfortable being alone for a very long time. Why do I look so freaking pale? Anyways. Hopefully I can edit this before I post it up so that way I can bring the color back. I look like a whitewashed, what are those things called from Game of Thrones? What are those called? Death walkers? Ghost walkers? I can't remember what they're called from Game of Thrones, but I look like one of those in my camera screen. But hopefully I can edit it before I post it. Anyways, but yeah, if things go well, I'm going to see about exchanging information because I really want to like, I want nice, healthy, real friendships like... Not something that's going to be draining and exhausting. Not something that I feel 
I'm more their friend than they are my friend. And that's the thing, too. Like, I was talking to God because I feel like when I talk to people or pursue friendships with some people, like, it's always me listening to them, me being there for them, and it's never vice versa. I feel like I'll talk and they won't hear anything I'm saying. But one thing I noticed about this this one particular girl is that when I talk, she actually listened. And she would repeat back some of the things I was saying. So, like, I knew she was listening to what I was saying. Um, but I felt comfortable. And she would literally ask me questions and listen and interact with what I was saying. And that made me feel happy. Because I'm like, oh, she's listening. I'm not just here to listen to what she has to say. And, like, I don't mind doing that. But I just also want that same um, reciprocity. Like, I want to be able to communicate with you and vice versa. Anyways... I don't want to talk for too long because then I'll be sitting here for an hour. I really want to get her up and get ready. So, um, I'll check back in when I get done. I'm, I'm wearing something you guys have already seen before. So, it's like, like something new. I do have some new clothes I want to wear. But I want to wait. I think until next week to wear those clothes. So, we're going to see. Anyways. And, guys, I have so much food. So much freaking food. Um. So, I don't know how this is going to go this week with, like, tracking my food. Because, like. I'm still going to be doing, like, smaller portions, like, portion control, but, like, there's no way of tracking. Like, I have a lot of spaghetti, um, potato salad. still have my plate from the event. There was so much food. Everything was so good. S um, smoked salmon, ribs, chicken, macaroni and cheese, the greens, yams, all the food that we made. There was just so much food. So I just, I made my plate at the event. I was eating off of that. And of course, you guys know I can't eat that much. So I bought that back home. So I still have that plate. I still have my Indian food. I still got my food from Chili's. I got so much. <laughs> so I got to break this down. I think I'm going to go to the store today and get some vegetables. So I, that'll be like my main carbs and protein. And then I'll have vegetables to go on the side. So that way I'm not going crazy um, with eating um, heavier foods. But yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I need to go get a calendar too. And some setting powder. Oh, God, please let me remember all this stuff. But we're going to the gym first. Okay. Okay, so I'll check back in when I get done getting ready. Mm, mm, mm. There he go again. Taste. 
Okay, so I'm at Target looking for a calendar. Not gonna be able to talk that much because they're playing music and we don't want copyright issues. I'm gonna try not to get distracted with things that I don't need. Oh, look at these candles. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So cute. Oh, there's no smell to it. Oh, that's boring. girl on TikTok talking about how ugly these boots are. But I thought they were really cute. So I want to see if they have them in my size. They get a few boots right So hopefully they're not sold out. But they're really cute. You just gotta know how to style them. Because if you know how to style them, you can rock them. So hopefully I can find them in my size. We're gonna see. Nine and a half and they are $50 at Target. Why would it be just that one pair though? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, these are cute. Actually, are they? Are they? They are though, but they are yeah. cute and not cute at the same time. They come in blue. Look at the Ormad's dupes. They're cute. Look, they got the Dior dupes. I turn the camera around. Hopefully, the quality is better, but these are the Dior dupes. They're really cute, but they're like, they're too flat. That's too flat to the ground. I need more cushion. I've been getting distracted, but I still don't see these shoes, so I don't think they have them at this location, which sucks. Oh, these are cute. Oh, God, I got it. The Chunky Hill is back. These are cute little casual flats, depending on what you're wearing. Like, they're like suede. And of course they don't have my size. Oh god. The joy of having big feet. I think it's for like a certain type of person to wear that. Black men smile. What the heck does that mean? This cheese, it smells like booty holes and earwax, but it's so good. It's so good. And this, just, it's good. 